For first at 10, tragedy on a stretch of state highway. A young mom and her one-year-old son dead after an early morning crash in Washington County. This happened on Highway 164 at Elmwood Road in the village of Richfield. Neighbors there tell our Sarah McGrew this has been a dangerous area for years. Officials say the crash happened in the intersection here behind me. Now after that fatal incident, neighbors are hoping for a change to the intersection and asking drivers passing through to slow down. A busy road through a quiet and rural Richfield. Those who live and work along Highway 164 say it's common to see drivers speeding through. I think just people really just need to learn to slow down. I think that it's more a um, issue of um, an attentive driving. Sandy Daring lives down the road from where a three car crash on Highway 164 in Elmwood left a 30 year old mother and her one year old son dead. The sheriff says it happened just before 6 a.m. when the car with the mom and her son was rear ended, pushed into oncoming traffic and hit by another car. The crash is under investigation and the names of the victims have not been released. Unfortunately, change doesn't happen until an incident does. Sandy has been long concerned about that intersection. When they did the construction here about two years ago, three years ago, they um, did these right-hand turn lanes. And sometimes when you're trying to access 164, um, there's a blind spot if somebody's in the left-hand lane and some accidents could occur that way. On Highway 164 between Montes Road and Hubertus Road, about a two mile stretch, there have been 47 crashes from 2018 through May of this year, according to State Patrol crash reports. Six of those crashes involved injuries and one was serious. That one happened in 2018 at the same intersection. Sandy now wants to see a roundabout put in at Elmwood and 164. Biggest concern is they're going to be uh, doing a development off of the Elmwood and so we're concerned that there's going to be additional traffic. Reporting in Washington County, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.